The Secretary of the Ministry of Ports and Shipping, K.D. Ruan Chandra, said the construction work was launched in the presence of the Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, Gopal Bagli, and the Minister of Ports and Shipping, Nimal Siripala de Silva. India's Adani Group signed a Build Operate Transfer or a BOT agreement with its local partner John Keels Holdings PLC and the Sri Lanka Port Authority on the 30th of September 2021 to develop the West Container Terminal in Colombo. The signing event for the 700 million US dollars was held virtually and 51% shares of the West Container Terminal will be vested with Adani Group. Operations of the West Container Terminal will be carried out by a new joint company named the West Container International Terminal. 51% of the West Container Terminal will be with Adani Group, 34% with John Keels and 15% with the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. That's the look and feel for you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'd like to say thank you now. When I arrived in Sri Lanka about two and a half years ago, this was one of the main objectives in pursuing a closer economic partnership between India and Sri Lanka, that India and Sri Lanka should be able to leverage and benefit from each other's strength and capacities. How do we do that? was the question. There was never a doubt in the objective or the intent or the willingness of the two sides to pursue this path for mutual benefit, for mutual prosperity. So in two years from now, in the Q3 or Q4 of 24, we hope to see this terminal in, so to say, flesh and bones, receiving the first containers and in due time, another couple of years at full capacity. This is the biggest FDI project in Sri Lanka in the modern times. So when the Sri Lanka is struggling to earn foreign exchange by various means, this has been a catalyst for our development in Sri Lanka. So we are thankful to the government of India and Adani Group and your company for coming to Sri Lanka and investing here because it is geopolitically also very important to us. During the good times as well as in the difficult times, India had rescued us. Not only that, India should come more and more and invest in Sri Lanka. We are paving way for that, we will facilitate that. And uh, His Excellency the President, Ranil Vikram Singh, has given me very clear instructions that uh, we should treat you in a special manner, apart from the other investors. I want to see that this is completed within the stipulated time.